In the 1760s, the 13 British colonies in America were well established. The colonies were filled with people looking for freedom and opportunity. They were loyal British citizens. But Great Britain started making rules and charging taxes without any representatives from the colonies to give an opinion or stand up for the colonists' rights. The colonists called this taxation without representation. King George III and the British Parliament taxed the colonies to pay English debts. Tea, lead, paper, and glass were taxed. A law was passed that wouldn't allow colonists to settle new farms and towns further west than the Appalachian Mountains. Another law gave British soldiers the right to move into any citizen's home and demand food, shelter, and transportation. Tensions grew until one day, angry colonists threatened a group of British soldiers who fired into the crowd, killing five Americans. To punish the colonists in Boston for the Boston Tea Party, King George closed down Boston Harbor to all ships coming and going. Many Bostonians lost their jobs and suffered financially. Rumors started that the colonies were thinking of breaking away from Great Britain and declaring independence. The king heard this and sent hundreds of troops to America to find and take the colonists' weapons. As these problems grew and more and more colonists began talking independence, steps were taken to prepare the colonies in case violence started. Militia, or citizen soldiers, were organized. Men were recruited who could be ready to fight in one minute. They were called Minutemen. Guns that were stored in Boston were moved to nearby Lexington and Concord. Militia watched the harbors and roads, ready to signal if British troops were approaching. The Continental Congress met and decided to form a Continental Army and appointed George Washington as general. Congress hoped a peaceful solution could be reached between Great Britain and the American colonies. Congress wrote a letter to King George, making clear what the colonies felt was fair treatment. The king refused to read it. Instead, he sent British troops. Seeing no peaceful end, the Continental Congress wrote and signed the Declaration of Independence and prepared for war. Though the British Army was the biggest and strongest in the world at the time, the colonists believed in their cause. The Continental Army had a slow start, and many battles were lost. Winters were hard on the poorly dressed and fed soldiers, and suffering was great. But through the efforts and support of the American people and the country of France, the Continental Army grew stronger. For eight years, Great Britain fought the colonies. Great Britain was also fighting wars with France and Spain. King George III finally decided to end one war, and a peace treaty was signed between America and Great Britain. The newly formed United States had what it finally wanted, independence.